Well, there's no easy way of saying this, but if you are a Christian and you support the Democrat Party of today, then you're part of the problem. Now, if you are a Christian, I know that you would love to see the culture taken back in America from those that would destroy us as a people. And not only that, you would love to see this nation move towards righteousness. And on top of that, you are awaiting the third great American awakening to take place here in our land. Now, before all those things can happen, though, you as a Christian need to know something about politics. Now, in the spiritual realm, we have only two kingdoms there. We have the kingdom of God, and we have the kingdom of darkness. We see that the hallmarks of the kingdom of God are truth, freedom, and righteous judgment. The hallmarks of the kingdom of darkness are deception, control, and anarchy. Jesus says, my kingdom is not of this world. Therefore, everything in between these two kingdoms is man-made governments. Some of these political parties and governments are closer to the kingdom of God, and some are closer to the kingdom of darkness. So where do you see yourself? Who do you align yourself with? Now, if you remember the parable that Jesus gave, when he came to separate the sheep from the goats, he says that he puts the sheep to the right then he puts the goats to the left. Everywhere you look, there is a right and a left. In politics, there is a right and a left. And in the church, unfortunately, there is a right and a left too, and this should not be. But take a look at the graph. You'll find that those that are closest to this side, in varying degrees, have more to do with the things of God, as opposed to those on this side of the graph, that appeal more to the side of darkness. Ecclesiastes says, A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart is at his left. Go to Italy today and ask them what the word left is. In Italian, it's sinistra. Now that's the same root word that we derive the word sinister from. So whether it's the Bible or whether it's the old world, there was an understanding that to be left of center was being associated with evil and being sinister. So if you're a Christian and you side with the left, be mindful of who you're aligning yourself with. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. President. an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Yo! Yo, it up! They had an inauguration yesterday and now we have all this. What did Trump do for all of this to happen? At the heart of it is anti-Americanism. And leaders behind these protests, including we now learn uh, George Soros, uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, Michael Moore. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. This is real? Yeah. They're throwing stuff at her. Wait, so you have people in this group who are socialists, who are, uh, are anti-American. It was an anti-war front group for the Marxist Leninist Workers Party. These are communists. These are anti-Semitics. And they're playing on your emotions so that they can get you all around them, so that you can turn around and continue to do what you're doing and divide the country. But for my view, I believe that there should be no more babies. I will defend Roe v. Wade, and I will defend women's rights to make their own health care decision. I honestly feel like it was the worst mistake I ever made in my life. A warning to viewers, the details can be a little gruesome. In the ninth month, you can take the baby and rip the baby out of the womb of the mother just prior to the birth of the baby. 
Now, you can say that that's okay. Hillary can say that that's okay. But it's not okay with me. And when anybody listens to what actually happens to a baby during an abortion, they're upset, they're horrified. They describe injecting poison into the baby's head or into the baby's bottom. The baby will literally be poisoned to death for up to two hours, and then they extract the baby piece by piece. Uh, Margaret Sanger clearly embraced bigotry and racism. She advocated for the elimination of the disabled, the downtrodden, and the black child. The whole reason for Black Parenthood was to sterilize black people so they wouldn't reproduce. I will defend Planned Parenthood. And I would never, under any circumstances, support a Democrat. I don't see how any Christian could. I'm a Christian and I would never, ever vote for that party. I suppose, given a choice, I think I would uh, pick hell. The reason I'd pick hell is because that's where all the have-nots are. Deep-seated cultural codes, religious beliefs, and structural biases have to be changed. One of her heroes, her mentors, was Saul Alinsky. He wrote a book called Rules for Radicals. On the dedication page, it acknowledges the original radical who gained his own kingdom, Lucifer. You know, Satan, Saul Alinsky. We are dealing with people who think they should rebel until they get their own little kingdom like Satan did. But, but please read the book <laughs> because it's very interesting uh, how it uses controlled anarchy. Tens of thousands of people have taken to the street to protest. Advocacy groups played a hand in organizing the seemingly spontaneous protests. Among them, an organization called Move On, which is funded by George Soros, a Hillary Clinton supporter and billionaire. It uses controlled anarchy right. in order to change us from a democratic republic to a socialist society. Right. Uh, when you look at the principles that are espoused by Christ, by Christianity, and you look at what's espoused by evil, and then you look at things like killing babies. Now a story we guarantee most of you have never heard before. Big money is being made from the sale of fetal body parts. A lot of people want to attack parts these days because they're looking for specific nodes. Yesterday was the first time that people wanted long. And then felt like I've always been attacked attack them. Yeah, liver is. People have lower extremities too. That's sick. So if you are a Christian and you're siding with these very principles, then you might be partly responsible for the 60 million children killed in the womb. So my friends, from one Christian to another, I'm just imploring you that if you are aligning yourself with these type of political parties, with these ideologies that are demonic, they are demonic and you need to understand that they are demonic now if you remember that in the great civil war if the left won we'd all be enslaved all everybody would be enslaved thank god the right won. but today i can't implore this enough we can't let the left win we who are spiritually minded need to side with the right because this is closer to God's ideology, to God's principles. And so I'm just asking you, please consider what I'm saying and come out of her that would cause disruption and anarchy to the nation. Come out of her and come to the light so that this nation can survive with your help by your leaving the Democrat Party. If you like this MindShift video, please share and subscribe. Plus, here are two more MindShift videos I think you'll enjoy. If you've ever been confused over end time events leading to the return of Jesus Christ, then click here for the Rapture for Dummies.
then follow up with the real Star Wars, Christ versus Antichrist. I'm Luke Aminali, and I'll see you next time on MindShift.